<laughs> so you have learned quite a few words. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, taught me, they taught me when we went to Camel Ride. They said, when you go back tomorrow, you say, GGG Arshabe. On day Whenever you say something to me, I say, GGG Arshabe. <laughs> <laughs> but that's right. <laughs> that's what we can write. Yeah. Anybody does not believe in me, will have to believe now. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me thinking now. <laughs> what do I say? If you try to accept dynamics for all of us, then they come to the country. <laughs> I did not know that I could be that philosophical. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go, back to the crown now. <laughs> Life forms emerge, <laughs> John Brent, when the ideal environment continues. <laughs> <laughs> Now today I, 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 I got, got that uh, hint about the you know, isotopes. Isotopes. Radioactive isotopes. <laughs> they are doing the trick. Uh, more, of, more, of, more of those uh, uh, if aluminum had an isotope that was a radioactive in majority, things would have been different. I'll have to dig up. <laughs> but it certainly is true that the ancient water has more of tritium. It's no water and that's, that's how that's how they calculate the age. I'm aware of that because they were, we were carrying out an uh, environmental assessment for uh, their uh, old, old field. And they were after... Uh, hey, look at this. You climbed, yeah, you climbed the social Newton ranking. In 2014, you were number four. Now you're number two. <laughs> you're going upwards. <laughs> you're getting for your... You influence my mind more. Somebody died. <laughs> Do I promote it? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm still alive. That's why I'm a two. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not because I did, did anything better. <laughs> it's because of those two people, they, they simply disappeared. <laughs> uh, look at this. Uh. <laughs> we remember this one, huh? We talked about the uh, the crayon and against uh, homosexuality, and then we talked about hydrogen bond with hydrogen and the free energy of this. Then I said Christopher Brown did the same thing. He says it's a 2y plus y2 reaction. I don't think we got anywhere with that. I tried to explain it to you in free energy, but we didn't. Uh... It, is a, it is a sin because it is unnatural. Mm -hmm. Quran is only prevent, uh, giving you a hint that anything unnatural, unnatural is, uh, with regard to human behavior. Okay, let's look up the word unnatural so I can see what we mean. I've read Quran and I find that this is forbidden only because when you have an opportunity with a female, why do you have to do that? Just because of pleasure? No. If that, if that is for pleasure, in that case, this is not right. This is what defines unnatural right here. So if you say that uh, 
to a man bondage is unnatural, then it has to hold to this variable. Do we agree on that? Mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> now we've got you who's thinking, huh? <laughs> 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 so someday in the unnatural, future, unnatural is flowing of heat from cold to hot. No, no. This is the definition it, of a natural according to chemical thermodynamics. This is the this is the second law of thermodynamics. You, you are going against it. This is the combined law. Of if you are going against going against the second law, the second. Uh, uh, long term <laughs> dynamics, <laughs> second one more. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to keep moving forward on this one here. I got. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ah. American type of the terrorist. Yeah, well, anyways, the, the point was here, he did the same calculation, but he, did, he looked at it in an unbiased manner. He didn't have any anchoring in the, uh, the crayon or the Bible, but he just said this, this reaction may come through, and he talked about it in his article here. But, uh, The enzymes. <laughs> Life emerged from nutrient-rich nutrient clay ferment that produced the enzyme. I mean, this is important. Unless you. Scanning your book, the same the scan we're looking right there. That's when I scanned the whole thing. And I scanned up to page 75 by July 8, 2014. Uh, that way, once I got it scanned, I started uh, showing it to people. 
submitted, I submitted to Jeff Georgie Jurgen Ingo Mueller for review. What could I say at the bottom there? I hope you'll be able to hold under pressure, no analogy intended. <laughs> See there, Mers, I'm putting the pressure on you. I sent for your review to four people, and I started putting some social pressure on you. And you it's survived? You didn't run. Maybe it's social so you can you can Memphis. Run. Jurgen Memphis. So he's also existed, right? Yeah, he's coming to the conference. Mm -hmm. Because he's done the same work as Merz has done. He wrote an article on the social chemical bond, but he's also produced graduate students too, so that puts him a little bit ahead of Merz. He ran a whole graduate department. Mm -hmm. the, the theories between the two of them are a little different. He's focused a little more on economics. Merz is a little more on sociology, but Merz has got a better understanding of, uh, they have similar, under Merz has done more work on human chemical reaction theory. That's one thing he has done more on. And uh, Jurgen Mimkies has done more work on how to understand the, the Gibbs free energy in terms of the, what's called the Lagrangian. It's uh, Joseph Lagrange is one of the, he developed what's called the force function. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that went into the formation of the Gibbs free energy. So he, he's, his derivation goes a little historically deeper than Merz's derivation goes. But you, that, you each have your good points and your different, different. different looking at it a different way. She's coming in a bit. Oh, okay. I think. 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 I don't know if you so nobody actually knows her name right now. Don't put it out there. So, what happened next? Let the games begin. Look at the, the okay. games began on uh, July 8th. Look at there. Okay. Let the games begin. The party yeah. has started. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I think I broke this thing like it's talking on the ground. You have been the best stuff since waiting. It's so small, with the most small compliment. For the record, Waiti. Stuff goes with very work at the age of 60 and about and Heading forward his great mind to the end. That's why people were saying to me that we already have your book. Mm. What? Because of him? Yeah. That he circulated here, process to establish and, and, and written notes and commentary and uploaded to the internet for public in, consumption. In, 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 the, so, in the July so the public had, mm -hmm. 14. What? June, June and July 2014. So if what? the public has consumed, huh? and they are writing to me that we already have a, have your book with all those remarks, this is this is what had, what was happening. I don't understand. You he said he is saying that you had already circulated his book so far. By the time he got a little bit into this, uh, you know, 
uh, research gate and everything. Yeah. So the, every every time he said that you can refer to my book, I can actually refer to you. Say, they said, oh, oh, we have got your book because you had already circulated it. Oh, okay. So that's what he's saying. So it was, it was helpful. It was very helpful. Yes. So you see, you're here. I already say, I guess say you're you were in the bad stuff since Berta. Mm -hmm. People no. were writing to me that we already have your book. I did not send any book, and the book I did not place the book on the on the internet. I did. You did it. Yeah. Now I know that this is this is what the, what, what makes the difference. Yeah. Why I was why why I should not be surprised that the book is already with them. Yeah. yeah. It's because it's because of that. It because uh, you already did. did it. <laughs> yeah. So we are really thankful for that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I was telling was, you was in June 2014, after being, you know, I, I went to Saudi Arabia in 2013. So I didn't know what, what this, about this episode. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm outside Pakistan. And what I was thinking at that time... You got a copy of the book in, in uh, Saudi Arabia? Uh, no. They, were, I, they, I, 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 they I, had I, the I, copies I, there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I came back and he, uh, and he gave me the link and everything. Okay. So, uh, no, uh, what I was telling you was 2014, I was thinking, and you guys were discussing this, and I was thinking about there's some kind of thing, you know. Uh, okay, you are are you the one that told me that uh, you told yes, someone that I that you thought I was a one man army? Yes, yes. I what did you, did you tell? Two people. Oh, that was three. Why, how did my wife and two okay. and a, uh, a friend. How did it come to the because you're fighting yeah. everywhere. This, this oh, whole website is you your job. Yeah. What's your 10 years work? I don't have any bad sucking in. This is my wife. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Oh. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice meeting you. You are the. Uh, um, I will reduce Kaiji. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, she's my sister-in-law. Sister-in-law? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, she's my eldest sister-in-law. Eldest sister-in-law? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So I, I have three sister-in-laws, you see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's the eldest, and uh, the younger one, she's, 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 in, she's in Australia. Uh -huh. And uh, I said the middle one, she's in, she stays over there. Uh, so I, I, I said he Oh, okay. Right. So, and how are you? Very good. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, to be in, uh, in Pakistan, Karachi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, how you like the place? Uh, so far, I've had some of the best biryani in this house that I've ever tasted. Ever. Oh, you like biryani? Uh, yeah, very good biryani here. Acha. Yeah. That's Doctor Big's wife. And uh, mm. Lev. He. Huh? That's Doctor Big's wife. Yeah, we've met already. Yeah. All right. She's, okay. Great. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, now you can ask. Well, me, you can ask is, now. Uh, his wife. Yeah, yeah, this is your, your brother-in-law. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 oh, that's right. <laughs> He's my brother. Oh, okay. Now you can ask From which, uh, a no, question I... that you were asking me. Why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he here? He will tell you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, this is a long story. Listen yeah, from the house of really uh -huh. That in 1987, uh, Mirza published his book, uh, New Dimensions of Sociology, and by doing that, he chose me to come here to visit him. Oh, I, was I, I was chosen. I said you were chosen. Yeah, yeah. And that's an honor for you. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, 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 in America, I mean, from which place you belong to? Uh, uh, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Right. So in 2014, uh -huh. I was looking around the internet and I found a strange book with this, this, this test tube on the cover. And then I saw I, it was hypnotized. I had to come to pack, come and visit okay. Yeah. So that book hypnotized you? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this, is a, this is something I've been working on since I was a young man, when I was 21. Yeah. I was uh, studying chemical engineering. Right. So chemistry and physics and thermodynamics mm. applied to uh, okay. So when I was a young man, I studied this uh, the, the equations in in, in, in engineering school. I was so, about to retire because of a young man. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to know, in my mind, I wanted to know who who is the person that wrote 
that wrote these equations applied to society. So, 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 so you have, now you have already met him? So first, I, in 2006, yeah. I found the German writer Goethe. And I found that he wrote this same thing in 1809 in the form of a novel, okay. where each person in the novel has a different chemical. Okay. Like Mirza says, the people here are gas particles, liquid particles, and solid Some particles. So this guy Goethe yeah. wrote the same well, thing. So these are the two books here. So it took me uh, tw 24 years to come and find uh, Mirza, uh, Arsha. And so Goethe wrote this uh, book in 1809, 200 years ago. This is B, this is A, this is C. So people are mixed together, wrapped together like chemicals. So then I found uh, Arsha's book. And he wrote this in 1987. And then uh, so I'm writing this book. Here is A, Hello, this is B, and uh, they react to form the husband and the wife and, mm -hmm. and a child. So then I'm trying, I've been trying to write the same book for 20, about 25 years. So now that I have this book and I have this book, now I'll be able to, I have to, I'll be able to move and publish, finish this book. Now you have this book, right? Which book? Our book. This book. This book. Do you have any questions for me? Do you have for me? For me? Do you, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> no questions? No you have already answered to him, that's enough for him. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, you teach yeah. over there in uh, America? Uh, yeah, I teach in... Uh, Which university? Amer uh, in some university? Yeah, six universities. In six universities uh, you teach over Six there. or four or five universities. So. For three years, I taught in the uh, uh, University of Chicago. I taught the bioengineering students. Uh, I taught uh, Northern Illinois University. I taught uh, mechanical engineers. And then uh, I taught in the uh, University of District Columbia in Washington. I taught there. And then next year, we're going to be, uh, MERS is going to be teaching at the, at the university, or then University of Pichesti in Romania. In Romania. I taught there. Yeah, Romania too. And next, and also in the University of District Columbia in Washington. So next year, Merz and I are going to both be teaching at, giving a lecture at uh, uh, Worcester Polytechnic University uh, Institute in uh, Massachusetts. Right. Yeah. And what about uh, in Pakistan? I mean, in Pakistan, you have not taught in any university. Rikarachi. Will you start me? Uh, no, I, no, no universities, but uh, this is my first time to come to come to. Uh, uh, no, uh, no. Karachi. Yeah. Two, three. How how you find the people out here? Uh, everybody seems nice. Sometimes people get scared also to come to Pakistan. <laughs> Did you have that idea? Uh, people that, uh, well, if you... I mean, did anybody uh, discourage you that you don't go to that place? Well, or well, right off the bat, when you try to get, if you look up if, it, uh, if it's safe to go to Pakistan, the U.S. government has Pakistan classified as, as a uh, zone, zone 2 or Zone 3 country that it's not advised to go there because of uh, terrorist activity. Okay. So the, the government, when you try to get a, uh, uh, try to get a visa, they suggest it's not suggested for Americans to go to Pakistan. They say don't. They advise not to go. Yeah, but I don't care about that. I want to come. <laughs> so here's the, here's the, sit over here so we can so so here's the con next year conference. Yeah. So MERS is going to come. It's 276 days, and there's going to be a conference, and uh, it's going to be at uh, such a big screen. Have me the laser pointer. 
So, so the conference is going to be at uh, uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, right there. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be June 22nd to 24th. So Merz is going to present through the computer, right. and then he's going to, I'm going to be on, in, in there, and I'm going to play him talking on the screen in front of all the audience, and he's going to talk for a half hour about uh, the physical, okay. chemical, sociology. I mean, uh, I mean, he's going to go. No, he's going to talk through the phone. I'll talk through the phone. Talk, like, talk, you know, talk like uh, Skype or uh, video or, uh, calling. Facebook video calling. So if you click on here, and I told him that I cannot come. I can't walk over to this distance. It's very hard for me. So he says that we have a video conference. So look, you see here if we click on country representatives. Now. These are all the countries that are going right here. You see up on the screen. Now we go down here to uh, Australia, Belgium, China, Croatia, France, Germany, Greece, Israel, Italy, Mexico, Pakistan. Mers is he's a representative for Pakistan. It's already listed. P C S I R. Oh yeah. yeah. He's coming to the conference. He's representing Pakistan. I must and, uh, say, Mirza um, Beg is a big man. Yeah, he's very famous. And he's, the, 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 he's the, not in person. He's leading. He's world fact representative for uh, all of the scientists in Pakistan. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Tell her about those one thousand and five hundred geniuses. Huh? The, those one one thousand genius. Oh yeah. That's Existing good. geniuses. <laughs> Let's take a look at this here. Existing. That is his finding. Existing. Yeah. Not my finding. I I don't accept. <laughs> so, well, first here, let me show you this one. So this is the uh, uh, this is me in Urdu. Look, I'm not going to lie. You need to get over. Yes, if you type two, never, never, never existed. Can I? So these are the rankings for the top 1,000 genius of all time, historical geniuses. The people that don't. Naturally, Einstein. Einstein is there. But if you rank them, you'll see that uh, number one person is is Goethe, and so he wrote this book. You see how the covers? That's the same thing that that Mirza did. You see, he's got the. Here's the cover, and Gertz is already, these, all these IQs right here are by other people, 225. He's the first human cited with IQ 225. So then you go down, and we have Newton, Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, number three, and uh, James Maxwell, he's the one that discovered light. And then Willard Gibbs is the one. <clears throat> you see the little symbols at the bottom here, this is called Gibbs free energy, and Gibbs free energy. So he's the one who invented this concept. So then, if you go to exist of genesis, mm -hmm. existence means alive. Existence means alive. alive. Uh, they, they don't actually use uh, living or non-living as a matter of you know being neutral. Okay, so they are immortal or something. Uh, no, al alive is. Uh, for, for their sake, existence is the term for a life. This is geniuses. Existence means they're still walking around the. the uh, so here we have Christopher. Christopher Rada. He is the leading genius in America.